Hello and welcome everybody to another Curiosity Conversation. I'm Jimmy Cerrone, your host, and it's wonderful to have you. Today, we're going to continue our conversation about the Enneagram by talking about the Type 6. So, as usual, we're going to talk about the core of the 6, its wings, the directions of integration and disintegration, and finally, growth. So, let's start off with the core. So, at their core, 6 is fear that they don't have guidance or security, and they desire, of course, security. And out of this tension, you know, this fear of not having guidance and this desire for security, comes this passion or sin of anxiety. Sixes are worried they won't be safe. And what's super interesting about this type is that there's two very distinct ways of reacting to that anxiety, coping with their passion. So, on one hand, you have what you might imagine, like someone who's really anxious and afraid and looks to authority figures to give them that security. On the other hand, you have sixes who react to that anxiety in an aggressive way, right? So they push back against authority, and they try to fight their fears very literally. So, that's the core of the six. That passion can be acted out in two different ways. One is called phobic, or like that fearful, and the other is called counterphobic. Now, we have two farther ways that sixes can show up, and that's the wings, right? On one side, we have the five, the investigator. And when you pair that with the six, known as the loyalist, you get this kind of detached observer called the defender, right? These sixes try to provide security for others from a distance, right? They want to be remote but they do want to be involved in creating a safe community for themselves. Now, on the other side of the six, you have the seven, which is the enthusiast. And when you pair the loyalist and the enthusiast, you get the buddy. These sixes try to create security by being a part of the community, by being integrated in it. They want to be a part of it. And so you have these two very different reactions. One is detached and trying to provide security from the outside, the defender. And the other is very much integrated and trying to gain security by being part of the community. And that's the buddy. So those are our two wings. Now let's talk about directions of integration and disintegration. And if you've watched the three video, you kind of know what I'm talking about here. Threes integrate to six, but sixes disintegrate to threes. So the six is normally cooperative and you know, a big part of the community, start to disintegrate when they fear their security is being threatened. And so they become competitive and combative in an attempt to kind of gain that security for themselves. They try to make it happen because they feel like it's not happening around them. So that's where they go in stress. In growth, these sixes that are anxious and sometimes fearful and react to that very strongly start to relax like a healthy nut. And so in that way, sixes are able to let go of this anxiety and live more peaceful lives. Now, how do sixes grow to a nine? Let's talk about growth. So I think as with all head types, sixes are a head type, one of the best things you can do is get out of your head. And for sixes, I recommend two things. The first is to meditate. And that may not sound like getting out of your head, but what I want sixes to do in meditation is to watch their thoughts and understand what's happening when they're overreacting and what their anxieties are and if they're realistic. Meditation is, does a great job of providing you a little distance from your thoughts so you can understand them. The second thing is to write your thoughts out. That can be a great way of kind of giving yourself space from the anxiety, which can be really visceral, and understanding what's going on. So those are our two things, meditate and write. I want to say thank you so much to all the sixes out there. We could not do life without you. You provide us so much safety. And I want to leave you with one last encouragement. You are often a sanctuary for everyone else and create sanctuaries. I don't think you always realize that you have one within you. I think one of the beautiful things you can start to do is use yourself as a sanctuary and find that peace and safety in you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.